the love of masters. We can add only a small part to what has been said. However, we will take you back to a far distant time. We will take you, it has been called those first two golden ages in order to name and identify that they have many ages and many names. I mean, they have many names. One is called the Hyperborean. Then you came in crystalline form and the next was called Valerian. When the Valerity began to be set on this earth, the earth was pristine and was being made ready for inhabitation. And so we tell you of the spheres, the biospheres that came down into the Lake Pyramid, but we will also tell you that along with that, within a biosphere with the greatest amount of the metatonic energy that come forth uh, at this level, for the metatonic energy is the light, it is the pure light, it is not, it is not diffused, it comes directly from the Father, Mother, God, and so it is a power and a light that is so dynamic that it can only come in very small fractals of itself. But the greatest amount that could be contained out of that magnificent and wondrous and most powerfully beautiful energy that is truly responsible for you being alive or it filtered through the magnificent metatronic light and then came down to the dimensions. And I was also in one of these biospheres and the Melchizedek energy, because you see, we had to anchor the God light, the divine power and will, and the divine wisdom. Those, that is the triad of creation. And so it had to be anchored on this earth. And the two places, the, the major places that it was anchored was in the Lake called Pyramid, and also in the Grand Tetons. And we brought many of you with us in your crystalline form. That is when you first came onto this earthly inhabitation. And you see, it only touched in the fourth dimension. And it existed in the fifth dimension. And that was where it was supposed to stay. Now this lake was not a lake then. It was an inverted pyramid. The pyramidal form of Mount Shasta then represented the masculine energy and this inverted pyramid was the feminine energy and in, down in the very depths only it now only extends just a very small part of this great crystalline cluster that is deep within the earth that goes deep within the earth as a cluster and it comes out and it extends it may be down in the silt and it may be buried with the earth but it is just as dynamic and as powerful and with the with the energy that you bring to it and those who come that revere this lake and feel the beauty and the sacredness of it, they add to the ignition and the activation of that crystalline energy. For you see, many of these clusters, many of these great crystalline energies were, it was as if they were tuned or toned down. They went into slumber as was appropriate for the earth could not absorb. The frequencies were too high, you see. And so those, those great structures, those great sentient crystals that bear the frequencies of life, light, and creation, the ones that were left alive or in their power have now become so contaminated that they are gradually shutting down to a degree. They will not completely go dormant, but they will go into slumber as the new sacred places and each of you has the potential just as we would try to explain to and tell you you are becoming the sentinels what does that mean instead of there being just a number of great vast sentinels around the earth all of you are becoming the sentinels do you understand what we're saying to you and so that is why it is important there will be other these Beautiful beings have agreed to carry a vast amount of the energy of the essence of the great being of which they are a part. But they're not the only ones. There are many more around the earth. Most of them do not know who they are, though. Most of them have not awakened. 
And you see, they do, in this instance, have to come together in order to radiate this, at least touch at times as they go on about their own individual issues. Well, there are many miracles that are happening on Earth now. And you are carrying them. You are one of the miracles. And so see each perfect miracle each day can give be in gratitude. As they expand and grow, they grow. I am the architect of the 